All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are in Starfield, and we're on the moon of Kurtz today. We're going to show you another ship that I've built. Uh, this is not the ship that I wanted to debut today. Uh, the other ship that I've been working on, it's broken, but we had a backup ship, uh, part of a battle cruiser series that I'm doing. And this is the first of the Class B battle cruisers that I want to make. And this is called the Blood Baron. And it is a very large and roomy uh, battle cruiser style ship, uh, kind of modeled after sports cars, is kind of how I look at it. And uh, it's a Class B ship, it's got fairly decent cargo. Uh, I sacrificed some maneuverability. Uh, with engines, you can get the maneuverability up to 100 on this ship if you swap out some engines. But I just like the way these engines look and sound together. You'll see here in a minute when we f take off and go out into space. It just sounds really cool when the Blood Baron boosts. Um, there's plenty of, of attachment points for you to add uh, all sorts of turrets as well as weapon mounts uh, for the different weapons that you might want to add to a battle cruiser like this. Uh, a little slower, a little heavier than some of my other builds, uh, but it's got lots and lots of room and lots and lots of modifiability and it looks cool too. And that's what I aim for is modular capabilities, looks, and uh, just a general aesthetic. I wanted this to look like a Sort of like a Trans Am or a Mustang. It's a battle cruiser in this universe, but it's the sports car of war, essentially, is what I was aiming for. Hopefully, I, I nailed it. If I didn't, then I didn't, but we'll go in real quick. I normally like ladderless builds, but sometimes you just can't go ladderless. But as soon as you come in here, uh, you'll have yourself a workshop down here. Again, there are a lot of habs in this uh, ship, so very, very modular. Uh, we've got a living quarters over here, three by one, as you come up to the second level. And then there's another three by one over here. You can make them into anything that you want them to be. That's totally up to you guys. Um, then we come back here through a computer bank or a uh, three or two by one hab. And then we come into a companion way, which takes us up this ladder, which also brings us into a command center. I believe this is called what that's called. Uh, and then over here, I have an armory. So lots and lots of habs to be had. Lots of uh, modifiability for you to uh, do kind of what you want to do. Again, it's not a ladderless build, so you kind of have to deal with ladders. But not really. The workshop's on the, on the first floor. That's really the only thing you need to be able to get to. You can just auto skip to the uh, pilot seat when you're leaving a planet, but it is what it is, guys. We do what we gotta do to make our ships look as cool as possible. I'm gonna have a nice spin around of this, of the Blood Baron. Tried to go with a nice uh, Red Baron sort of theme. Uh, normally, I don't do multiple weapons. I'm just sort of a lazy dogfighter kind of guy, but sometimes you just want to let the turrets do the work, and this is the kind of ship that you can definitely throw a bunch of turrets on and just fly around. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. So here we are in space. You can see, and then I'll fire these engines up and see why I took the hit on mobility just because of the way they sound. It sounds so cool when this ship boosts. Oh, it, it really just feels good with these engines. Uh, I know I can get it up to 100, but that just feels too good when that happens. So it's almost kind of worth losing the 10% uh, mobility. Especially if you're going to throw turrets on this thing, you don't really need to be doing turns. The turrets will be doing the work for you. But we'll go into photo mode, into orbital, so you can get a really good look at the Blood Baron as it's flying through space. Uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun to build this, uh, build this ship. 
throw up some of that uh, brightness so you guys can have a really good look at her. And uh, yeah, the Blood Baron was really fun to build. Uh, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share down below. It really helps out if you guys do that. If you'd like an in-depth build guide of the Blood Baron, uh, just let me know down in, in the comment section. I'm going to try to keep these videos as short as I can so that you guys can really just enjoy the ships. And uh, a lot of these things, you guys can kind of look and see what I've done here. But if you really want to know all the parts and all of that stuff, if I get, you know, if I get enough, if I get enough views and enough likes, I'll go in and, and do all of that. I'm, I'm so obsessed with building ships in this game. It's crazy. But uh, this has been the Blood Baron, guys. It's a uh, part of my battle cruiser series that I want to do, sort of battled, modeled after like Star Wars battleships and things like that, but with my own sort of modern day twist on them. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and uh, have a great day.